It's 42 feet wide and over two stories tall. Welcome to Oklahoma City's big screen. And it overlooks what is becoming the most interesting intersection downtown. And that intersection is right here at Sheridan and Robinson downtown. And I'm standing next to Mr. Downtown, Steve Lackmeyer. And, and Steve, the reason I said that is, as you have recently reported, there's a lot of growth, a lot of development that is going to happen along this corridor. Can you give us a quick overview? You know, it's really amazing what's already happened just in the last couple of years. We saw the Myriad Gardens totally uh, change with a nice makeover as part of Project 180. Uh, on any given day, you can see the ice skate ice skating rink full of people. We've got a merry-go-round over there now, the winter pop-up shops, uh, just incredible lighting displays in the Crystal Bridge. The Colcord, which at best was a Class C office building just a decade ago, is now a very nice boutique hotel with really cool uh, Christmas ornaments there on the uh, awning over the entrances and we're seeing this renaissance spread. We know now that there's going to be at least five towers going up just one block from where we stand. There'll be two high-rise apartment towers, 26 stories each. Two office towers, 25 stories tall each. One of them will be the new og and &E Energy Corp headquarters. We also know that Heinz is building a multi-tenant office building, 27 stories at the corner of Hudson and Sheridan where the old Hotel Black and Union Bus Station stand. We're seeing more growth further down on Sheridan and Maine with renovations underway on the Fred Jones Assembly Plant, which will be a 21C museum hotel and a now thriving Film Row district. It's just amazing what's happening with Sheridan. It's becoming a major corridor, and as we both know, the Oklahoman is about to be a part of that. Jumping right into the mix, the Oklahoman right here at Sheridan and Robinson. I've been inside, as you can see, there's construction going on over the past few days, every day, and the guys with Lingo Construction are hard at work making changes, including the big Panasonic screen that we see above us. Now, Steve, I've been at the Oklahoman for 18 years, and you've been there even longer than that. 25 years. We've seen a lot of changes <laughs> within the Oklahoman. It's yes. always been a progressive organization. You know, it really thought of digital first before a lot of people were thinking digital. This is kind of the next turn of the crank, isn't it? But it has that cool factor. You know, it's amazing just how the community has embraced this so quickly. The moment that the light bulb started lighting up on this thing, uh, you and I both received messages on social media. Someone was uh, challenging me to play a game of Mario Brothers. You gonna take him up on that? I, I prefer to play Pac-Man or Galaga. <laughs> That's my strength. Uh, and you know, we were talking about maybe there could be a karaoke night with this. This is a totally different medium, not just for the Oklahoman, but for Oklahoma City and the Oklahoma and the state of Oklahoma. I'm not sure if there's any other newspapers that are doing what we're doing. There's a total different, totally different level of engagement that's about to take place, and it's very exciting. You know, some of the uh, the vibes, some of the feedback we have received from people is like, wow, this is like Times Square, come to Oklahoma City. Yeah. And, in, and in fact, this morning when I was standing here on this street corner, it had that Times Square feel to it because there was a guy sitting right there at the intersection, Steve, staring at the screen so much he missed his life. The guy behind him was honking at him. <laughs> now, my question to you, Steve, is you cover downtown Oklahoma City. We never see you up in the office. Now that the Oklahoman in mid-February plans are to office here downtown, are we going to see you in the office now? I think you might see me a couple of days each week. I'm not going to lie. I love being at the various coffee shops downtown, being out with readers, uh, being out in the community. But absolutely, it is so much easier for the community to connect with us and for us to visit right here on what is really becoming one of the key corridors, the key intersections downtown. So yeah, you'll see me a couple of days each week. So you can catch this guy at the Oklahoma. And again, their offices are planning to open up down here in mid-February. You can catch Steve's chat every Friday morning at 1030 on newsok.com. And Steve, I think, touched on a key point there. This is a great opportunity for the Oklahoma and Oklahoma City to engage as a community to share stories and headlines, not just in a one-way manner, but perhaps as an ongoing conversation. You know, I've been very impressed with the efforts uh, with uh, News OK to collect Instagrams and how we've been printing photos in the newspaper and really uh, letting people 
participate in showing off our town and showing off our state and telling that story. Uh, it's a two-way conversation. It doesn't just have to be me telling that story. We can tell that story together. Very good. Steve Lackmeyer, more coverage from him every day in the Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Check out his blog at OKC Central. Follow Steve on Twitter as well, at Steve Lackmeyer.